Welcome to this week's supply chain update, brought to you by Phoenix International. Starting off with our rate-related updates and market conditions. The market is facing significant fluctuations due to recent geopolitical events. Rate conditions remain volatile, largely driven by developments in China and the U.S. China's boycott of Evergreen shipping following the Paris Evergreen Laurel Hotel incident has caused a sharp decline in Evergreen's lifting performance and spot rates. Freight all-kind rates are on the rise, with carriers pushing increases from September 1st to the 14th. This trend is expected to continue into late September due to China's national holiday on October 1st. A potential strike looms on the U.S. East Coast, with negotiations still unresolved as the September 30th deadline approaches. In case of a strike, consider alternatives like Interior Point Intermodal or Miniland Bridge services from West Coast ports, but be aware of potential space constraints. The strike in India has been canceled, reducing potential disruptions. Moving on to the rate predictions. Rates are set to rise starting September 1st as carriers push for higher profitability despite imbalances in supply and demand. This trend will continue through mid-September, driven by the upcoming national holiday in China from October 1st to October 7th. A general rate increase has already been announced for October 1st, further confirming these rate hikes across all shipping categories. The graphs show current port congestion in Asia and the U.S. in Asia. Tianjin faces the longest delay at 21 days, followed by Dalian with four days. Most other Asian ports have minimal delays of one to three days. In the U.S., Savannah has the longest wait at five days, while Tacoma and Norfolk each have four-day delays. Other key U.S. ports like Los Angeles and New York have waiting times of two to three days. Continuing our news of the week, rail container dwell times at Los Angeles and Long Beach ports have nearly doubled, raising concerns as peak season begins. Increased imports and potential labor strikes could worsen the situation. The Port of Portland aims to secure a third-party operator for its T6 terminal by January 2024. This move follows financial losses and aims to stabilize operations for Oregon shippers. Canadian rail workers have returned to work after a failed arbitration challenge. The rail networks now face clearing a backlog of cargo that accumulated during the 17-hour lockout. Labor disputes at Canadian ports could shift cargo volumes to us West Coast ports. While disruptions could benefit ports like Los Angeles and Long Beach, capacity constraints may limit immediate gains. And that concludes our update on the global supply chain. Thank you for joining us. We will continue to monitor these developments and keep you informed. You can follow us on LinkedIn and YouTube for more supply chain related updates.